Hi guys, welcome to Nikkei Tech Academy. In this video, we are going to learn an interesting scenario-based interview question in Informatica IACS. So this is the question. Create an ETL logic for the input to get the desired output below. The input is, we have two columns, ID and name. So we have different IDs and different names. So we need to get the output in this way. For example, here we have one and one, two different names, Sam and John, but we have to concatenate these two names into one single record for this ID. Similarly, for the second ID, ID number two, we have two records. These two records should be concatenated with in this format. Similarly, for three also. If we get the input in this way, how can I get output this way? I have already created this source table in HR schema with all the inputs. So whatever we have here, I just created this particular table here. You can also create this ID and name. And similarly, I created the target table in core schema. So with this name, before loading, just I will truncate this table to show you that so how can we do this particular logic in Informatica? I just truncated. As of now, there is no data in the target table. It's very simple. So we need to use a different transformation for this particular logic. Without wasting your time, let us do it in the Informatica IACS tool. So wherever I'm finding one, okay, so that one, we have to concatenate here. Wherever I'm finding two, these two, we have to concatenate. So how can I create this logic? So I'll go here. So I'll create the source table. Sorry, I will take the source table here. What is the source table? Yes underscore M expression exercise six. Okay, so this table I'm going to take. So field via ID and name. Okay, so what is the logic here? So I'm going to take, I'm going to concatenate this one and this one, right? And this two and this two. So first we have to do order by on this ID column. Okay. So this way we have to order it. So after order it like this, see, I, I'm putting that Sam and John both are in, in one group. Then Ram and Mike, it's one group and Rina is another group. So this way I have created, right? Yes. So in order to use this, I have to use the sorter. So go to sorter first. First to sort the data. Okay. So which one I have to use sorter based on the ID column, right? So you can go for ascending order or descending order. Anything is fine. You can use any one order. Then I will go for expression. So in the expression, see here, in the expression. So whenever I want to compare previous record. Okay, so previous record. So I'm going to take this record. So I'm going to use this way. So if I'm going to take the first record. For, for the first record, do we have any previous record? No, right? So there is no previous record. So if there is no previous record, that means it's not equal. Okay. So if it is not equal, so this ID column, this ID column, right? So if ID column and this ID column is not equal, I'm going to make this name is as it is. Okay. Sam itself. And if it is equal, so this record, I'm going to take second one, this ID with previous ID, both are equal. So I'm, I'm going to con concatenate with previous name, right? Yes, previous name. If it is not equal, I'm going to take name itself. So if ID and ID is not equal, this ID and this ID is not equal, I'm going to use name itself. That means ROM itself. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable port for this. So always create a variable port. So create a variable port here. So V underscore 
name name only i need right so concatenation name we want yes now to make p underscore name so you can go for 100 characters so we are going to concatenate all this right yes so configure so i'm going to use v p underscore so name so how can i do it so if if condition if this id column this id column not equal to not equal to previous id okay if both are not equal then i'm going to make it like if both are not equal if both are not equal i have to take name itself right yes i have to name itself i have to take no need to concatenate or anything else i have to make concatenation so what is the concatenation i have to do so in this case i have to take first uh, previous one then the next one current one right yes so here i have to take previous name concatenation single quotes comma then concatenation name right yes so here i have to create two columns one is previous id and previous name so just i will create previous id if you validate now it will not be validated why because there is no previous id previous name so i'm going to create previous name here it's this is also variable port so previous id it's like a decimal it is nothing but id column only so after creating the column we have to create this one so after creating the logic then we have to create otherwise before so before if you are creating it will be assigned then it will not be compared correctly so it's a case sensitive you have to use uh, correctly previous name equal to name you can make it like 100 characters click on okay here and previous name i have to make it like uh, what is the name the name is name only yes so validate it should be valid if you go on valid now validate now it will it should be validated okay so after that i'm going to create so variable port i have to take outside right o underscore name so just i'm going to take output just string you can make 100 characters click on okay so configure and this output the variable one i have to assign it right v name that's it okay so target i'm going to take so i have already created a target table for this exercise 6 right yes we will check it here i have created id and name but still i have to do one more uh -huh. one more work around i will tell you what is that okay o underscore name should be on the name id column right id and name yes so don't put this name so if you connect to this name then again we will get source data on right yes so i will truncate and load the target i will truncate and load i'll go and execute so it will truncate and load here to my jobs it's running got loaded with five records okay so five records so why it is five record we have to get three record only right so it has loaded this way so one sam has loaded yes then after that one more record for every record it is generating yes so we have used only expression right yes it will generate this way only so to ram and then to ram and mike so it is generating this way but if you see this i need only these records right this three so how can i take these records so from the resultant if i want to take this record so that means can we use aggregator if you use aggregator aggregator will give you if i'm going to do group by on this id column group by on id column so it will take the last record am i correct so on the group it will take last record so this is the one see why they are asking this type of questions in interview they will test you whether you are familiar with like a sorter expression and aggregator so if if i'm getting like this 
in real time project also so if you have practice like this then definitely you can able to do it right that's why they will test it so what is the aggregated column so here i have to use aggregated column is id column that's it so no need of any aggregations so just group by on id then you will get the target so i'm going to run it now based on the scenario we have to use the transformations so instead of five records we will get three records only this time so you can see here so only three records has been loaded so we have used to truncate and load so we have loaded like this right so one are we getting same records same results yes so this is the way you have to use clear so sorter expression and aggregator